Good morning. It is the start of February. And there's still no sun. So I've got a few parcels arrive and I thought let's make a video of what I have had delivered. So first and foremost, I'll start with the smallest. A little package from Grow Your Secret Garden, Gardener's Box. And there's some seeds, ficus macrophylla seeds. And hopefully the camera will show just how, how fine they are. So, yeah, something to play with in the future. Next. What have we got? Okay, so. My Barina grow lights. I'm going to just grab something to open these and show you what they look like. Okay, I'm back. Let's have a look. So these are, I've already put, I've already got a set of these. So I have a selection of tropical houseplants inside. And these have been really, really useful. So you get four lighting strips. Obviously the, the mains plug. And you can set. The timer ranging from 4 hours, 9 hours, and 14 hours. Uh, an additional plug, I guess. I don't need that. I might need that. I don't know. There's enough wires. So what I'm doing indoors, and I'll, I'll set these up today, actually, or tomorrow, is... I've got a nice little seed station started. Well, I've got the setup. These will play an important role in that. And this will enable me to have two. So basically each one of these will provide 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters of coverage. And the shelving I've got is 80 by 40 over four tiers. So this will allow me to set up two tiers. But I'm still looking and doing a bit of research on what heat mats to use because a lot of the heat equipment out there, it's not very reliable. So that's that. Then we've got something boring, but an essential. more wire so this is two mil 500 grams approximately 60 meters in length no, i'm sure you've all seen wire before frustratingly after i made that purchase i was on the kais and bonsai, bonsai website and they're selling, if anyone's interested, they're selling 500 gram packs for £10. So I've got some more wire coming shortly. And then lastly, well, I say lastly, there will be more coming today, I'm sure. So this is from Water Gardening Direct. Might give you an idea of what it is. Okay. Let's have a look at what I paid for these. So these are pond baskets. I think these are quite affordable. 
11 centimeters squared, 74 pence each. If anybody's looking for containers to grow things from and you want pond baskets, they're the guys to look at. Ignore my address. They're the guys to look at. Water Gardening Direct. 74, 74 pence each. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Plus postage was, I think it came to... Let me check. Okay, that's bef before VAT. So... Ten of them with VAT come to nine pounds something and then postage was just under three pound so these are the smallest ones they do and actually looking at these they're probably a little bit small for what i need so i've got a number of bare rooted saplings coming um and i'm just going to grab one that i've already got give me two seconds Okay, I'm back. So this is a an example of an existing sapling that I've got. I've got a number of these in these pond baskets. So actually now, that might be a, a decent size. And pom, pond baskets are great because they allow maximum air in and around the roots. Really easily draining. And then just as a just as a bigger example, I've got a couple of these. So you can see there, there's five in that basket. And these baskets aren't much more expensive. I think like one pound fifty, just under two pounds. So I've got five. These are crab apples. Just a, a bit of an experiment. So through five in one pot they won't obviously stay in one pot but what i didn't have at the time when that delivery arrived was enough of these single single ones and these are great as well because you can attach wire so if you've got anything particularly tall that you need to wire in you can do that using these also uh so i'm expecting another delivery at some point today so I will store this video and wait for that delivery to arrive. And what I'm going to do is go and set up these lights. So I will catch you in a bit. Okay. Round two. Oh. DPD and Amazon have been. Let's see what we've got. I know what this one is. Well, I think I do just by the number two on the box. Yeah. From Kaizen Bonsai. If you don't know them, I would encourage you to check them out. And here we have it. 500 grams, two and a half mil wire. Ten pound at the moment on sale, and then the big one, five mil wire. So if anyone's interested, see what the real time difference is between the two in terms of thickness. That should give you an idea. So the five mil, it's a real pain to, to use. It's very, very stiff and tense, but fantastic for any thick branches that you've got or trunks. And then in there is a box of there, and this is why I knew it was from them. Then number two, pre-mixed soil so i've got a lot of a lot of repotting to do shortly and then what you get in there is a guide to fertilizing bonsai and 
reusing boxes, redu 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 reusing boxes, reducing waste, saving trees. 97% of our packaging materials are reused. So have a look at them. And as I say, both of these, these 500 gram packs, they're 10 pound now in the sales section. I haven't seen anything that cheap elsewhere. And that's 17 litres of soil, which is quite substantial. Right, next up. I think I know what this is. And I was right. So. What I've been looking for is a solution. And I'm not sure if this is it. But a solution for... I showed you a couple of examples earlier of the, the pond baskets that I use. And what I want to do in the garden is just create a, a bit of a level area. They don't need to be on benches, so I don't need a bench for them, but the ground is a bit uneven, so they can fall over. So. There's no receipt in here, but these, I think I've got nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, nine of these. They're 30 centimeters by 30 centimeters. So theoretically, I can get three, six, nine of those pond, ba pond baskets on a, on a tile. And they will, like, I guess, gym flooring. They will, he says slot together so I can have you know almost a, a one meter by one meter square or what I'll more likely do is, is do them too wide and just create a bit of a bit of space where I can lay those pond baskets out still good drainage uh, we'll see we will see and then I think my next package is the other thing that I purchased to see if that will act as a solution to those tiles. I think they're about £8 delivered from Amazon. So not too bad. And this was the other, the other potential solution. And I'm immediately not thinking it's the right one, but we'll see. Let me move this stuff out of the way. It's starting to rain, good timing. So this was the other solution that I was considering. So there's two of these. Grow bag tray. Keeps tomatoes and cucumbers well watered. Okay. So these are, in an ideal world, going to be used to put plants. I've got a few weeping willows that need to be constantly damp. And for those, one second. For those weeping willows, the pots are just stood in those, so they can be a reservoir of water. It keeps them all always damp. These are obviously, these trays, two of them are on a much bigger scale. Now, I don't really want that to happen with the, the pond baskets that I've got. I don't want them sitting in water. So, we'll see. I mean, the, the option is I just drill some holes in this to help them drain. We'll see, but uh, I mean, if I compare the size, they were about the same price.
mm, probably about I mean, they're 30 by 30 that's probably about 40 by 1 meter by 40 so you know those those pond baskets I will be able to get a massive amount in those and what I like is they've got the lip whereas the, the tiles do not so if they are stacked in there's less likelihood of them falling over one disadvantage however other than the drainage is they're going to kill what's what, whatever's underneath it so with those the grass is still going to be relatively okay underneath there's going to be sunlight reaching the ground and these are just going to kill it off and create this garden is a bit of a uh, a bit of a swamp it, it it floods quite easily so I don't know I guess what I've got now is a couple of things to play around with which is what I might do now okay so this is the section of the garden you can see it's very muddy where I want to sort of use the the tiles or all those boxes and you can see I've just laid two out now so even though they're 30 by 30 I'm not going to fit nine on a tile I've been able to fit on sort of four and a half so ten in total um, I mean that's pretty pretty sturdy I don't think there's gonna be any issues there I don't know we'll see they're gonna stay there I've got if I come over I've got some of these I need to move as well but it's it is this this muddy area here that I really want to want to sort out so yeah they seem like they could do the trick